Letter Campaign Tool on Action Network comes with preloaded data for your activists to send to governors, the U.S. House, U.S. Senate, and state legislatures. Sometimes, though, you may want to run campaigns where your activists send letters to a different target, like a school board, mayor, CEO, or agency head. For that, you can load a list of custom targets. To create a custom target, we'll go to the Start Organizing menu and click Custom Targets. You'll then select the list you're working with from the drop-down menu. Then, hit the New Targets button. This is where you'll upload the list of targets. For this to work correctly, it's imperative that you follow our formatting. So make sure to download this sample file and fill in the data that's appropriate to you. Let's take a look at that sample file. On the sample file, you'll see the first column is title. This is the title that you use to address people, like chairman or director. Next is the first name and the last name and the zip code. Then tell us what email address we should send the letters to for each target. You can use the M and F to indicate the gender of your target so that we can automate pronouns in your letters later. Make sure to leave this blank if you're unsure of what someone's gender pronouns are. Then we'll just use they, them, and their pronouns. Next, if you're targeting people outside the United States, you'll want to fill in this column using the two-letter country code. If you leave this column blank, we'll assume that the target is in the United States. Let's go back to the Uploads page. Once you've created your list of targets, click here to choose a list from your computer. Then, give your target list a title. This is how the list of targets will be identified when you're creating an action. When you're ready, click the blue Save and Upload button. That brings us back to the list of custom target uploads. You'll see the name of the list here, an X to delete it, or this icon, which will let you download the CSV again. You'll also see the date that this list was uploaded. You'll also see the number of targets you've loaded in. Don't be concerned if it shows a zero when you first upload the list. You'll probably need to click to refresh it, and then you'll see an accurate number of targets. See, now it says three. Lastly, if your group is part of a network, you'll see a blue button that says Send to Children. This allows parent groups to send a list of custom targets down to their subgroups in the network. Then, the child or subgroups will be able to use that list of targets in their own letter campaigns. If you want more information about letter campaigns, please watch that video tutorial and visit our help documents at help.actionnetwork.org. If you have any more questions about creating and using custom targets or any of our other features, please visit help.actionnetwork.org.